Hi, this is Baton from Daso System Episode. Today I just share with you some tips how to uh, import Inventor Part into Softworks. I know more and more that we have um, users who migrate from Inventor to Softworks, and the first thing is you need to uh, um, get those data that you already create in Inventor into Softworks. You don't have to migrate the whole. Uh, data that you have created over the years, but what you need is the, when you start a new project with SolidWorks, you need to at least to have this the standard part that yeah, you keep using it over and over. You want to bring this first into SolidWorks. That is what what I would advise to all the user when you migrate from one CAD system to another CAD system. You don't have to migrate everything. You just bring over the part that you keep using over and over. Uh, make it as a standard part. So how to do it in SolidWorks? First of all, uh, getting part from Inventor is quite a little bit tricky, but uh, very much straightforward. So first thing you need to do is you need to download the utility from from the Autodesk. Uh, it's called Autodesk Inventor View 2017. Uh, I'm using SolidWorks 2016, so I need that um, Autodesk in Inventor View 2017. So I download the uh, Autodesk Inventor View 2017, the 64 bit version. And this is allow me to uh, uh, be able to view the Inventor parts, but also more importantly, is uh, helping me later on to convert those parts you know, from Inventor into software. So let's go and go select the Inventor assembly. So let's select this one. Then bring it in to Softworks. I have the uh, feature works turned on. So okay, so you will see all this part uh, it come in Softworks, right? Okay. Uh, let's take the first one. You can see that that first one is actually is an import body. So what I'm gonna do is the uh, I'm gonna open this, okay, and then it's gonna show me here the the body. But I need to use I I want to use the actually you can use as it is because most of the geometry is still there. Uh, the whole the system is still recognize this is as a whole. For example, it recognize the the diameters, the the center, the all this that you 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 can use as this is, but if you want to modify later on, uh, better use feature words to convert those to the features that the software can understand. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go to feature words, but let's look at the option first. Okay, on um, in the option of feature words, um, I need to have that one select override existing file. Why is this? Uh, you, you have the possibility to have the two files, the one that you open and it has the import body and, and then you use feature words to recognize the features, it will create a new files. But it's a little bit troublesome, especially, especially when you have an, an assembly, uh, then you have to go back and you know substitute, replace uh, the one with the features to the one that come with the assembly. So in order to avoid this kind of uh, confusion later on, I use a overwrite existing file. So everything that has been convert, it overwrite, and then I only have one file to manage. So I'm gonna use feature works, recognize the features, and then, yep, that that's all. Uh, go ahead. Okay, it's recognize all the features. Right, and it's done. So you can see right here uh, that part with all the features. So uh, it's a whole, whole clearance hole. So I probably give the uh, define the material. Uh, plane come on steel. That should be okay. And then I'm gonna save it. Okay, and then I will close it. Right. So go back to my assembly. That you can see that support is here. It has yes all the features. So I gonna go <coughs> with the next one. Open it again, and then feature work. Recognize the features. 
hit OK. Go ahead. Perfect. I need final materials. It'll be, um, yes, plain camera steel. Oh, I can use that one. Right, save it. Close it. And next one will be that one. <coughs> Perfect. Save again, close it, back to the assembly, then open this one. Import body, recognize the features. Define material. Okay, this one can be brass, for example. Save it. Close it. And then I'm going to open this one, the next one, this one. Okay, feature, recognize the features. Perfect. Only one features. Um, yep. Keep going with the next one. Three more to go. Okay. Quite tricky this one, but let's see how it's recognized all these features. Not too bad. Okay. Let me define material as well. Right, uh, I have one more. Okay, find material, save it, close it, and then the last one. Okay, let's see how it's going to recognize this one. There's a loft as well. So maybe it won't be able to recognize the loft part of it. Not too bad. Yep, so this one material cast on my steel. Right, save it. Close it. All right, so now I gonna save the assembly as well. Right, so now uh, it's uh, uh, it's all saved in the SolidWorks format. Uh, majority has the features, uh, so I can later on go back and change dimension. Now, because this is the standard parts, um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is the, um, uh, let me go find where's all my files. Cat data. Uh, I'm gonna put in here. Uh, crochet. Okay. So here I have all these uh, parts. I create. Um, I I import it. So I'm go to the vol. Um, okay. I'm go back to that folder, and I will copy all of those files. Copy. It. And now I put into the vault. Okay, so now this part is now inside the Sartmos vault and it's ready to go uh, for the new project so I can reuse it uh, over and over again. Okay, perfect. Um, let me go and uh, let me close the artworks here. And uh, let's see if I'm going to check in. Okay, it's recognized me all the other component within the assembly and check in. Voila. 
So this part is now ready to go live and everyone in the company will be able to reuse this part uh, over and over again. And it's only one location, which is the vault. Um, everyone else in all the machine uh, don't need to copy the, uh, this file, just uh, point it to the vault and then can use it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.